This is Positive Moments with Jean Walters Lucy, personal growth consultant, teacher, author, and lecturer. Hello, everybody. I'm Richard Miller, and welcome to Positive Moments with Jean Walters Lucy. And today's show is called Work as Investment. And here's Jean. Hi, Jean. Hi. Everything you do or express is an investment of energy. Make sure that you are going for the biggest return on your investment by investing 100% of who you are into everything you do. For instance, give to each customer, client, and friend 100% attention, caring, and enthusiasm. You're not just supplying a product, you're giving yourself as well. Think about this. Who do you remember and want to support? The guy at the restaurant who handed you your sandwich with a genuine smile, eye contact, and a sincere, enjoy your lunch, are the one who mumbled half-heartedly, what do you have? While looking away, holding a conversation with someone else, there is not much enthusiasm for returning to a bland, lifeless business or a bland, lifeless relationship for that matter. You receive nothing from it because there is no energy. On the other hand, when you serve others with joy and enthusiasm, your return on your investment is great. You have given your sparkle and your energy, and everyone feels it. The great baseball slugger Mark McGuire touched many lives every time he stepped up to bat because people knew that he gave 100%. McGuire's focus, dedication, and discipline was obvious. As you watched him play, it was easy to see the thousands of hours of planning and conditioning, practice and desire that he invested in giving his all. He also demonstrated humility and partnership by willingly sharing credit with his, for all his successes with his teammates and his fans. Everyone has a Mark McGuire inside of him. You can access your Mark McGuire self by approaching your work with a plan and a positive attitude. Go the extra mile, whether it be arriving early or staying late, being extra patient or smiling even when you don't feel like it. If someone observes you at work, would he note the same dedication to excellence that he does when he watches Mark McGuire? If not, what can you do to change that? This is Jean Walters Lucy, personal growth consultant. If you have comments or thoughts about this show, we would certainly love to hear from you. In fact, we want to hear from you. Please get in touch with me by emailing me from my website, which is spiritualtransformation.com, or call me at 314-991-8439. Also, Gene, listeners who may want to uh, participate on the phone on the show, if they will go to your website and leave their daytime phone number, uh, we will call them and uh, arrange to be on the show. That would be a fun experience for us and them. Yes. <laughs> and I'd love it. Well, Jean, let's get right down to things and uh, go to our first caller. And today it is uh, Susie. Susie, thank you for calling. Um, how can I help you? Well, I have a question. I'm a mom of two children, and I'd like to encourage my children to give more to their schoolwork and than they do uh, uh, right now at this time. Um, they just basically do the bare minimum to just get by and... I was just wondering what your feedback would be to encourage them to. Yeah. Well, I, I do have two thoughts on that, and um, not necessarily uh, you know, directed toward you, but sort of from in a broad way toward the whole audience. And that is, one, kids do respond to their model that they have in their home, and, and do they see their parents giving 100% and really going at their work in passion are it's like oh I now I have to vacuum the rug and now I have to do the laundry because when they see this passionless uh, model then you know then they end up feeling like everything is a have to and it's heavy and golly gee you know not very much fun so that's one thought Um, and the other thought I had is um, what are their goals in life Have, have you ever discussed what is it they want you know to be or do or experience in their life and and how does this school work and I'll integrate with that is there is there some way that that can be tied together I remember working with a child one time and he wanted to be a motorcycle mechanic and I asked him if if learning math might be helpful to him as a motorcycle mechanic and he thought about it and he said yeah I guess so I said well you you are going to be collecting money right 
He said, yeah. I said, so maybe adding and subtracting would be a good th thing to do, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I'm wondering, have you, have you thought of it in, from those points of view? Well, my son, he's um, basically looked at me like, why do I have to decide now? Like, isn't it too soon? Well, yeah, I'm not talking about a specific, um, you know, like he wants to be an engineer or something. I'm talking about um, what kind of life do you want to live? You know, if he knows he wants to be an engineer, that's great, too. But what kind of life do you want to live? Do you want to um, enjoy yourself? Do you want to have nice things? Do you, um, do you want to travel the world? You know, things like that that might be more motivating. I don't know. What do you think? Oh, definitely. We talk about that all the time. We, I, I think our I instill, or I'm trying to discuss with them, <laughs> don't you like the life you live today? I want you to have, ex you know, what we have today plus, and I think that your education dually connects to that. But I don't think, it's like there's a missing link. It looks like mm -hmm. it's like this yeah. numbness going through that, yeah. I don't know if there's a connection. Yeah. Well, the other thought I had is, is have you allowed him to be responsible for some of his things now? If he wants a, a new Nintendo or a new uh, whatever it is that he's wanting, a stereo, do you allow him to work for it and find out what it might be like to, you know, to actually be out in the world and putting some money together and, and, and creating and completing a goal? Because there's a tremendous rush of of self-esteem that comes from you know finding your own way to get there so I'm wondering if you've ever done something like that with the kids um, well I when I give him money on the weekend <laughs> when it was warmer I used to make him like okay you gotta wash my car for me and mm -hmm. he would have no problem doing it I mean he mm -hmm. did a great job and with a lot of pride there you and go. I think this summer he's definitely gonna work and I think it'll and when he has worked with his dad, he's done a great job, and I think he's focused. Wonderful. Um, and I think, you know, unfortunately, when they're 15, it's it's not as easy for them to uh, work, but we're going to get him a worker's permit to start yeah. the summer so he can do up his car that he's going to get, you know, next year. He's already has big plans. He's a big planner when it comes to things he wants. But there you go. But he's very Th focused with what he wants. There but you go, yeah. The car thing. Yes, you know, very good. 16, but that's good though. That because then you you know you can he can have, you know he can have the kind of car and the kind of equipment on it and whatever he wants if he's willing to go make it happen. Right. And then and just like you're saying that you're seeing this pride in him, you're seeing this sense of accomplishment and a sense of you know feeling good about himself when he's out there doing something that has meaning for him. And I think that's the whole point here is that um, when I'm talking about Mark McGuire before, it, it had meaning for him to be a slugger and to hit those balls out of the ballpark. And so we have to help our children find, you know, create some pride in themselves. Like, you know, I'm really, doesn't the car look great, Mom? <laughs> you know? Anyway, I think you're on track. I think you're on track a lot more than you realize. So one more question. Do you sure. think it's bad to um, connect? Like, he, we were going to give him a Jeep for his 16th birthday, and he now wants a Mustang. So I say, well, I want A's. And he's very much a B student. So mm -hmm. is that bad to correlate? Well, I think it's it's like negotiating. It's a, it's sort of like I'll give you this if you give me that. Uh, the thing I would bad? be careful about is, well, no, I don't know that it's bad because I think part of life is learning how to negotiate, don't you? I mean, don't we negotiate in practically everything we do? Definitely. So I think, we're, you know, it's still a skill that he's going to take into life. But I would be careful about getting him too fancy a car, allowing, you know, say um, I'm putting a couple grand into this car, and if you want something more wonderful, then, you know, feel free to um, go out there and, and create a way to, to create the money, because you can do it. You have it in you to do it. And then reinforce that. He does have it in him to do it, and he's already proved it for a couple of the instances you've talked about. Does that make sense? Definitely. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Did you much. have something, Rich? That you sound like, I, I don't know, he looked tentative to me. <laughs> it's connected, but not really part of the show. I just, Susie, what popped in my head, have you looked into the insurance yet for a Mustang? <laughs> <laughs> very good well, point. <laughs> I told him about that, too. I said, I'm sure the insurance is going to go up. You're not going to be able to have one of those Mustangs until, you know, you've drove that Jeep that has a lot of metal around it for a while, but I... What what kind of Jeep? 
It's like a Cherokee. Okay. Um, I, I just think that he's. We've already moved him to a different school. It's um, a little more aggressive because it's uh, the private schooling kind of pushes the grade point average up a little higher, so that they have to achieve a little higher than a public school rating as far as grades are. So he's already being pushed, and um, I'm happy with the results. Oh, good. I think he's done very well. He's still very inky with me, like there's no girls here. I'm like, well, <laughs> there's no girls here because we want you to focus on your education. And I feel like I have a lot of leverage right now. It's like Very good. I think that you can do this, and with that I don't mind giving you what you want because mm -hmm. I think in well, life we're all rewarded. But... I just think that he has it in him, but it's hard Absolutely. to get him to push to, to motivate him. But yeah. I know it's going to cost me a fortune with the insurance, a couple grand, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and again, remember that what he produces himself, he feels proud of. So if you give him too much, you know, he's not going to have the same feeling about it than, than if he does something himself to make it happen. And right now it sounds like a lot, the grades and so forth are more for you than for him. He hasn't figured that out yet. Right. That's fine. That's understandable. But the more he's able to earn the things in life that he wants, the more pride he's going to have and the more sense of, of uh, self-esteem he's going to have too. So just remember that and keep weighing that against everything. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, I really appreciate you calling. Thank you. All right. Have, have a good day. You too. Bye. Thank you. You know, Gene, with a teenage son, it's probably a little late to start, but for those listeners that have uh, younger children, especially preschool children, the very first place to start if you want them to uh, pay attention to their schoolwork and their education is to be careful the atmosphere that you present. In other words, you need to promote love of education and the fact that school, yes. school can actually, it's not a fun fest all the time, but that uh, it's not something. Oh, you gotta do it. It's like take your medicine. It's good for you. Kind of. It's got. Well, hey, school can be cool. There, yeah. there's some good things to learn. You'll be happy. You know. Well, and I think th th again, the, the the model of the kids is the parents. And um, do they read? Do they watch educational TV? Are they? Do they take a class? Are they excited about the things they learn? Do they come home and go, Oh, wait till, you, wait till I tell you what I've learned today? You know, I think it it would be really neat to go around the table at night and say, Well, what did you learn from today? What was your great gift from today? That would be a wonderful way to start instilling this seed idea here that we can learn something every day and it can be a very exciting trip. We'll take a cue from one of your previous shows, too, in the, in, in the attitude, the kids get to go to school. Yeah, I get to go to school. Yes, <laughs> exactly. And, of course, how you treat, um, you know, your interest in their schoolwork, you know, your willingness and your availability to help them with their homework. Yeah. And enthusiasm is, is contagious. Enthusiasm really is love. And the more we enthusiastic we can be with them about what they're learning to, and be careful about being hard on them. You know, you only got to be. I, I really am one that I don't like the idea of focusing on grades. I like the idea of focusing on what is it you've been learning. And if you're having a hard time, well, what can we do to improve that? Or how can we make it more fun for you? And I, I've, been, I've talked to teachers before, and they've, they've taken, like, segments of history, like World War II, and actually created the environment of that in their classroom, and they played different roles of soldiers and so forth. And they, they created so much enthusiasm and enjoyment about that subject. So I know it works. Indeed. Gene, thank you once again. Once again, today's Positive Moments is called Work as investment. Thank you, Gene Walters, Lucy. Thank you. This has been Positive Moments with Gene Walters, Lucy, personal growth consultant, teacher, author, and lecturer. If you have comments or questions on any personal growth subject like universal law, dream interpretation, intuition, self-esteem, or self-empowerment, you can reach Jean at her website, www.spiritualtransformation.com, or call 314-991-8439 and leave a message, 314-991-8439. I'm Richard Miller, and we'll see you for your next Positive Moments.